We are on to day five of the 30 day animation challenge already and let's get to the tutorial. Today I'm showing you how to do this day to night transition effect. We are starting off with a blank page. I am using a 920 by 1080 video format and first of all we're just going to go to our images and search New York skyline image and then once you have a image that you think will work well this one I like because it's like a front on view however the sky is a bit boring it's very white but we can add a bit more interest here so we will size up the graphics so it fills the page and then we're going to copy and paste that image and this time go to edit photo and use the background remover and then we need to place it exactly on top of the image behind then I want to add a much more of a contrast with the skyline so i'm going to go back into photos and i'm going to type in a blue sky with clouds and then we find an image that we think will work well place it in the middle and then go up to position and sit it behind the top layer that we have cut out the background so this gives us a much better skyline next we need to add some text and you can go up to if you're not sure what i'm going to change this font to anton and capitalize it just going to close in the gaps between the letters ever so slightly and then enlarge till it fills almost the whole page and then center in the middle i'm then going to Go to effects and hollow and then take it right down to thickness of one so it's really quite thin and then i'm going to move it down so it's covered by the buildings and set it behind that top layer of the buildings so that's our first slide i'm going to reduce it down to about one second we're then going to duplicate this page and this time we want to add a little bit of contrast to the first page just so there's a kind of smoother transition before it gets to night time. So I'm going to draw a box and have it go across the full length of the page. And this time I'm going to create a gradient. So for this one I just wanted to blend into completely transparent so I've just taken that right down to zero. I'm going to change the direction and just turn it around and it's a little bit light so if I go back in and click on the colour I can then move it along here and darken down the colour and I'm going to set it down the very bottom of the page here that's now darkening that area there and then I'm going to turn it around up to the top but that's now a little dark so I'll go back in and I will adjust the colour this time making it much bluer in tone like so. so now when you go between the two pages you can see there's a bit of a contrast just with the background I need to grab our text and just move it up so we can now see the text go between the two pages and select match and move and now you can see when we hover across both pages that we have this nice change in contrast with the image and the text popping out behind the buildings. Now we want to build our nighttime effect, so we'll duplicate our second page. And we want to change the background from the daytime sky to a nighttime one. So again, I went into photos and this time searched night sky. And then once we've selected an image that we think will work, we can just change the position and have it sitting just in front of the daytime sky now, but still in front of the very back buildings. And then also want to have this animation with the New York, which was this one here, of it going from the outline to filling in with the black. And we do that by going into position and selecting the layer with the text and we just want to duplicate and we'll remove the effect so that it's the solid text to place it exactly on top and this time we need to move it so it sits just underneath the outline layer and then we need to go to animate and if we go to wipe and we're just going to have it coming in from the left we're going to reduce the speed right down so that it comes in a little slower and then we also want to add in our match and move between the two slides but you'll notice that we can't see the effect 
with the black text happening and that's because the animation is actually happening during the transition so we need to select the text and we need to click the three wee dots and go to show timing and we want to move this so that the transition starts to happen as the page comes in now we can see the transition happening and I just want to select the outline and change the colour again just to create a bit of difference between the two pages and we can now see that it changes into the blue outline with the black text coming in. On this page I'm going to remove that gradient then we need to duplicate this page just once more and this time darken it down and I'm going to increase it a little bit so that it's coming up above more of the buildings. At the same time I go back into position and I'm going to select the cutout buildings and I'm going to go to edit photo adjust and this time I'm going to bring down the brightness of the buildings as well just to make them really dark for this last slide. I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to type in shooting star and this time what I'm looking for is inside graphics if I click on animated and I'm looking for a subtle stars and I'm just looking to add a bit of a twinkling sky to the night so I'm going to have that covering the whole page but then I'm going to go into position and I'm going to move it so it sits just above the background image of the sky and it's sitting behind the New York timeline so it's not super obvious. Now I'm going to adjust the timing slightly of these slides just so I can get the transitions working a little smoother and then once you change the timings of the slides you can also go back in and change the duration of the transition. It's so now when we play that from the start we can see that we have a nice smooth transition from day to night. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can catch all 30 of my tutorials in the 30 day animation challenge. Thanks for watching.